Hey guys, just wanted to talk something out. Sometimes it's good to vent. I just came from a store where they sold wigs and I wanted to try some of the wigs and at first they weren't really too excited about showing me the wigs. And then they told me I had to buy a cap, which was fine. They tried some wigs on me. I didn't feel right about it because I don't like bangs and they had some wigs with bangs and then the lady said you have to make up your mind because we don't just allow people to try wigs here and I felt like there was a total turn off inside me because I said you know what I'm not going to try if I can't try the wigs I'm not going to buy them because you know I need to know what I am trying and if how it looks on me but I don't know if this has happened to you, those of you who are going through cancer and chemo, but I really don't find the um, group compassion that I thought I would find from people. And it's really amazing to me. I walked out of the store because I was not gonna buy a wig under those circumstances. But I have to say this may be something that needs to be revisited, you know, a person who loses their hair, you know, identifies with themselves with a particular hairstyle or hair or whatever. And so, you know, it's hard to just put on whatever um, wig and feel identified with it. You know, there's a specific uh, compassion that is needed as well as understanding when it comes to that kind of a service. And hopefully there will be one that will be uh, up to par but as as of now I have not found it just discouraged just kind of venting but you know what this is the life that I'm living right now but I'm uh, wigging it anyway which means I'm going to enjoy my life I'm winging whatever circumstances that I have to live with and I'm not going to let it phase me and take off my joy or take away my joy so uh, just winging it today Enjoy your day. Don't let nothing bring you down. Love you. Bye.